Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. Today, after a blowout win here at home against the Browns, New York is prepared to meet the Arizona Cardinals. The big thing that the Jets need to be aware of, as far as the offense is concerned, is the ability of Kyler Murray. Even if it looks as if he's going to get sacked, he has the strength and speed to scramble out of the trouble and hurt you long down the field with either his legs or passing the ball. And the passing game, if the season stats hold up, will be the concerning factor though. I would think that running the ball may be a little more problematic this week for the Jets since along with Pat McKinley, the Cards were able to pick up J.J. Watt in free agency. Arizona has benefited this season from his presence since a lot of teams are running away from his direction. The only problem is, Tack is on the other side waiting for someone to try running to his side of the field. Then you have former Jet C.J. Mosley in the middle of the field, having an amazing season thus far. You can see why some analysts scratch their head when they think of the cards as a 4 and 16. Can the Jets stay focused on the game at hand and come away with a win here in week 12? Let's find out as we get set for the Jets and the Cardinals on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Trent Lyon is ready for the Jets and gets us started here in MetLife Stadium. Kiki QT takes the knee in the end zone and it comes out to the 25 yard line. Kyler Murray, six interceptions, 16 touchdowns, is having a good year. Just not a fantastic performance, I would say. But here is on first down, he keeps it himself and he's out to the 29 for a four yard gain. That brings us to the starting lineup for the Cardinals offense. You see there Connor McGovern on there twice for the offensive line. That is not a misprint. There are two Connor McGoverns on this Arizona Cardinals squad. And now on third down, less than a yard to go. And Ido Smith takes it up the middle, out to the 43 yard line and now is inside Jet territory. So here on first down, Murray in the shotgun passes, complete. John Baker to the 10-5 touchdown Cardinals. If you take a look on the replay, you see Adams and May try to tackle Baker, he, he is just too strong and makes his way all the way into the end zone. The number one draft candidate in this past season's draft and the Cardinals got him. And they're making excellent use out of him. Now the Jets from their own 30 yard line. Jackson takes it over the left side numbers and he's all the way out to the 33. Only a three yard gain in his second and seven. And again, Jackson takes it up the middle for a short gain and here we see the starting lineup for the Cardinal defense. Dak McKinley and J.J. Watt on the outsides. Mosley there in the middle you see and a very solid backfield as well. Third and five. Pass is incomplete intended for John Ross. Covered very well by Humphrey. And that brings up fourth and five. So the Cardinals take over at the 21 yard line. Murray back to pass, complete. Christian Kirk is out of bounds at the 34 and a first down. Blake Cashman breaks through the line and tackles Daryl Henderson for a two yard loss. And brings up second and 12. And Murray calls his own number and loses yardage back to the 30 yard line. Marcus May getting to him for the three yard loss. 
So now third and 15. The long pass is incomplete. Intended for Joshua Foster. And he can't make the grab. And Julian Love was there on coverage. And after a jet three and out, Murray is taken down at the two yard line by Little. And that means that, well, wait a minute. They try a pass play out of the end zone and it's stopped at the line of scrimmage by Ethan Goodman. So now, here is Howard and into Cardinal territory and out of bounds at the 31 yard line. What a nice return setting up Jackson up the middle to the 24 yard line. Now third and one. And Jackson cannot make the sticks. Tackled right there at the 24 yard line for a two yard loss. And that brings us to the end of quarter number one with the Cardinals on top, seven to nothing. Trent Lyon on for a 41 yard field goal and it's right through the middle. Seven to three Cardinals. Kyler Murray with better field position than he had last time. Starting out at the 25, complete to Kiki QT. And that is a first down out to the 38. Murray now calls his own number and is taken down by Rivers. And Christian Kirk is down and being escorted back to the locker room. And that could be bad news for the Cardinals. Third and 13. And a completion for a first down out to QT to the 45 yard line of the Jets. A gain of 20 yards on the play. Murray out of shotgun again. And this time he is taken down by Blake Cashman at the 47 yard line of Arizona. Cashman showing a lot of speed off that edge. Now on third and 17. Murray with all day to throw it. Finally throws it in the flat to Baker and out of bounds. And that play goes absolutely nowhere. Brian Anger on the punt, drops it inside the five and out of bounds just outside the goal line. So the Jets start out deep in their own territory. Jackson muscles it out to the five yard line. Pass play is stopped in the end zone for safety. The Jets try a screen pass out of the end zone and can't get it out of the end zone. Tackled by Ray Scott. That gives the Cardinals two points, but they can't make a go of it after the free kick. So on the first down pass, it goes out to John Ross. And he is gone, 10-5 touchdown Jets. 77 yards on the slant pass pattern. Ross shows off some of that 99 speed and leaves Humphrey in the dust. Nobody else can catch him and it's all the way to pay dirt. The Jets now take a one point lead in the game, 10 to nine. Murray back to pass, throws quick and is tackled by Julian Love out to Joshua Foster. And now third and 10, the pass is caught by Ito Smith up the sideline and there's a flag on the play. Roughing the passer call against Coco Sheffield. And that gives the Cardinals a first down. And that is completion to QT out to the 36. Second and five. The throw over the middle. And it's a touchdown 
to Joshua Foster. Celebrating in the end zone with Kiki QT. He just he gets behind the defense. Julian Love tries to catch up to him, just can't do it, and it's all the way to the end zone. Just that fast, the Cardinals take control of the scoreboard. 16 to 10 is your score now. And Howard takes it to the left side. And he is out in the open. Is anybody going to catch him? He's gone the distance. Touchdown, Jets. That is his second kickoff return for a touchdown this season. He's had punt returns uh, that went for a touchdown, but this is only his second kickoff return. And the point after is blocked. So it's tied up the game now. 16 all. Zachary Brown, the one that got in there and blocked the point after. And now the Cardinals take over at their own 27 yard line. Second and eight and over the middle it's complete to Smith. Now third and three. The pass is completed to QT and all the way to the 30 yard line. And I'll tell you, if Ethan Goodman wasn't as fast as he is, QT goes all the way to the house. And a wide open John Baker takes it the distance. Celebrating in the end zone with Foster. This is the reason why the Cardinals are so big on this kid. Baker takes it all the way, making a very, very strategic cut to the inside to make that grab. And the score is now 23 to 16. Over the middle, incomplete to Terry McLaurin. And here on second and 10, Darnold back to pass, throws long. John Ross, all the way, touchdown, Jets. 5,000 yards in his career thus far. If you take a look on the replay, Buda Baker tries to <laughs> hang in there with John Ross, but he is just not fast enough. Once Ross gets behind the defense, it's see you later and good night. That ties up the ball game and brings us to halftime where the Jets will open up the second half with the ball. But it's been all passing. Now for an update, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Well, we thought that last week's 24 to nothing halftime score was outstanding. But this week, both teams are getting in on the action. A game that's been dominated by the passing attack and special teams has created a 23 to 23 tie here at the break. In other news, the Jets were thrilled when free safety Marcus May was named as the AFC Defensive Player of the Week and he's keeping with that same kind of performance being a very disruptive force here in this game. Something that Cardinals fans won't want to hear though is that wide receiver Christian Kirk, who happens to be Arizona's number one receiver, has been diagnosed with a torn shoulder muscle and will be out for a minimum of five weeks in therapy. That means backup Kiki QT will be filling in for him in that role. As we return to this game, what adjustments will be made by the Jets in order to get this running game going? It's only produced 19 yards in the first half, so New York needs to improve that part of the game. Stay tuned to find out if the changes made work as the second half is coming right up. Welcome back everyone to MetLife Stadium for second half coverage of our game between the Jets and the Cardinals. Both teams have had trouble getting their running attack going, 
will that be a problem going forward? Each team is finding other ways to score points, so as this game unfolds, will either team be able to make the needed adjustments to get their running games established? Let's find out as we start the second half. Rob Campbell gets set to send it deep for the Cardinals. And Howard takes it inside his own end zone and takes it all the way out to the 40 to the 50 yard line. And out of bounds, just a little bit more speed and he would have been gone the distance. Now on second and seven, Donald back to pass, completes it to Arsenault. And does he have the first down? Yes, they gave it to him at the 40 yard line. Jackson takes it up the middle to the 29. And another first down for the Jets. The give this time is to Jacobs. He makes it around the end and stays in bounds to go down to the 23, where it's third and four. Arsenal catching it underneath and going for the first down all the way down to the 14. Darnold on the screen pass out to Jacobs, down to the one. Baker stood between him and the goal line and Baker won that one. Trayvon Wesco takes it the rest of the way and the team celebrates in the end zone. 30 to 23 is your score, the Jets are on top. Murray from the shotgun completes it. Rookie Kayvon Fisher, very strong running after the catch all the way to the 44 yard line. And Murray calls his own number into Jet territory, tackled at the 48. Second and three, throws deep and it's caught. Joshua Fisher finally brought down by Julian Love at the 10 yard line. Now the Cardinals come out in a double eye back formation. Henderson goes in motion and over on the right side, he catches a touchdown Cardinals. One thing is for sure, when Kyler Murray gets on a roll, he can drive the field in no time at all. Now the Jets. Start out from the 27, Darnold over the middle to McLaurin, and he's to the 36 yard line. A nine yard pickup, second and one. Jackson up the middle, first down to the 40 yard line. The rushing game opening up just a little bit for the Jets. And that one is completed to Rig Howard for a six yard gain. Third and four, the completion to Arsenal to the midfield stripe and not enough for the first down. The fourth and one, Olsen has to punt and drops at the three and is down at the 11, but the Cardinals can't do anything with it. Punt is away, Howard fields it and Makes a cut and is all the way down to the 30 yard line of Arizona. What a day this kid is having. Pass to McLaurin to the 24 yard line. Third and three. Darnold throws incomplete. Trent Lyon comes on for a 40 yard field goal and it's up and right through the middle. That gives the Jets the lead, 33 to 30. Now Murray and company from the 25, and Blake Cashman gets in there for a second sack of the afternoon. A six yard loss. Now third and 10, and Smith is stopped by Chris Gonzalez from getting the first down a long way from the 
markers. And the Jets can't do anything with it. Go three and out. The pass is to Foster, and he gets a seven-yard gain. Third and three. Edo Smith is stopped by Adams and Cashman in the backfield. And that brings out the punting team to Howard again. He heads left, makes a cut, and is all the way down to the 45. Not quite the 30 yard line, but still outstanding field position for the Jets. Darnold throws the screen pass, and Jackson makes a cut, has the first down to the 35. Another pass to Jackson, and that one is complete, but only a four yard gain. Scott makes a tackle on Jackson in the backfield and bringing up third and 12. Another screen pass, and out in the open is Jackson and out of bounds at the 23. They have to start looking now at staying in bounds, but um, that one he had not much of a choice on. Jackson up the middle for a nine yard gain. Second and inches from the 14. He takes it down to the four. First and goal with the two minute warning here. 33 to 30. And the Jets knocking on the door. And into the end zone goes Trayvon Wesco for his second rushing touchdown of the afternoon. And that takes us to 40 to 30 in favor of the Jets. There you see the numbers on Murray, 25 of 28 passes, 361 yards and four touchdowns. And it's complete to Baker over the middle to the 48 yard line and he's driving down the field again. That one complete to Foster. And now third and 10, it's intercepted. Ramirez taking it down the left hand side of the field and into the end zone. There is a flag on the play and it's roughing the passer on Jerron Mason. And that gives the Cardinals a first down at the 23, almost intercepted again, another flag. And it looks like Jerron Mason is guilty again of getting too friendly there in the backfield. And finally, Foster with a reception in the end zone, touchdown Arizona. That will take the score to 40 to 37. Man, what a game for scoring this has been. And the onside kick fielded by McLaurin and that should do it. Your final score, 40 to 37 in favor of the Jets. Now, with the score being what it was at halftime, I would have thought there would have been a whole lot more scoring here in the second. Uh, not to be the case though. The Cardinals just couldn't overcome the Jets 23 point second quarter. It looked as if Arizona was going to be able to make a comeback with that last drive, but without any timeouts, they had to try the onside kick. And as we know, that is never an easy thing. After a nice snag by Terry McLaurin, the game was over. Aside from that last drive, the Jets defense really did a good job in the fourth quarter. I do have to admit though, that they were playing a pretty loose defense for that last drive. Both quarterbacks completed 75% of their passes, but Arizona went the way of the pass by way of over 400 yards through the air 
from Murray, while New York was able to establish a little bit of a running effort in the second half. It didn't hurt anything that Rig Howard had a magnificent day in the return game, giving the Jets great field position to start their drives on numerous occasions. Once again, the Jets' running game just didn't get the number of touches that they needed. But let's be fair, the Cardinals' front seven were being very effective against the run. It wasn't until later in the game when the Arizona defense got a little gassed that the Jets were able to move the ball a little better on the ground. Murray threw for over 400 yards and it showed in the stats of his receivers. Even though Kirk got injured, both Foster and Baker were at 100 plus yards receiving. That, I would say, could be a tough trio to defend in coming seasons. On the defensive side of the action, while it was really nice to see the Jets play as well as they did, it's a little sad that New York had to let C.J. Mosley go. He played a great game in the middle of the field today, and if it weren't for the financial aspect of his rather large contract, it would have been cool to see how the Jets' defense would be with him in the middle linebacker position. I do have to say, though, that for the Jets, Ethan Goodman, that has been plugged into the slot cornerback spot, has shown a lot of promise in the past couple of weeks. It'll be quite interesting to see how he develops in that role. Blake Cashman is showing that being plugged in as the primary rushing left outside linebacker has been a good choice. His ability to get in the backfield on a consistent basis is paying off well for the Jets. But I think the story of the day, beside Murray's outstanding pass yardage, is the performance of Rig Howard. He combined for 367 return yards, and among them was a 99-yard touchdown kickoff return. I would be very pleased if I had made the suggestion to trade for him because he's turning into a beast for the Jets. Well, up next for New York is another home game against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, the 49ers sit on top of the NFC West but are only 6-5 and five in doing so. So a win is necessary for them if they want to stay ahead of the Rams in that division. San Francisco, along with the Jets, are bottom fourth performers in the passing game and as a whole are the 30th offense in the NFL. So I think we'll get to see plenty of defensive domination in this game. The 49ers will be facing the number one defense in New York, while they have the number 12 defense themselves. If the stats are any indication of how this game will go, the Jets should come out with a win. However, that's why they play the games, right? Now that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freak Sports Network. The New York defense held Murray down just enough to let the rest of the Jets team score enough to leave New York on top in the end. Will they have another test against Jimmy Garoppolo and company as they did against Kyler Murray? The offense could have a very good day against the 49ers if, and that's a big if. Number one, Darnold has a good day. And number two, they can do a little better job of establishing the run than they did today against a very good Cardinal rush defense. Will we see a defensive battle next week that gets the Jets a little closer to taking the lead in the AFC East? Or will the 49ers be able to remain on top of the NFC West? Be with us to find out when San Francisco and New York meet and until we see you back here in MetLife Stadium, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, 
This is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>